Welcome inside the Orlando Museum of Art. Today I am here previewing its spectacular exhibition of previously unseen works by Jean-Michel Basquiat. Heroes and Monsters is the name of the exhibition. It's opening in February of 2022 with an extended runtime all the way until June 30th, 2023. You've got over a year to make plans and come see this show. And should you ever, 25 Jean-Michel Basquiat paintings, all from 1982, the uh, peak year of his creativity, the best Jean-Michel Basquiat works were created in 1982. That's the year that the uh, famous skull painting that sold for 110 million at Sotheby's a few years ago was painted in. That's the year Basquiat is the artist. These are all works on cardboard and they were all completed uh, during a period when he was living in uh, Venice, California, invited out by Larry Gagosian to uh, work on artworks for a, a Gagosian gallery show. This painting here, untitled, called Industry Insider, so representative of the iconic Jean-Michel Basquiat mark making. Of course, you've got the skull, uh, you've got the teeth, you've got the Basquiat crown, you've got Samo is here. Uh, on this other side, this is another skull, obviously, but this um, grid is hobo code for prison. Uh, we've got a television here, and Jean-Michel Basquiat always had uh, a television on. He said he was raised on television. That was something that was just the background of his life. Of course, the text uh, throughout, which is so representative of of Basquiat's work. Um, oil stick, acrylic, again, this is on canvas. You can, you can see the frayed uh, edges here. There's actually a little bit of spray paint work here, which references his time as a, a tagger in New York and, and where he made his, his mark, so to speak, with that Samo tag. We've got the repeated A's here, which can be read as, as screaming. Ah, uh, we see the skull screaming, the mouth open, the agony, uh, the pain. And this painting is extraordinary in its multiple symbols, iconography, the dramatic color, obviously, the yellows and the reds and the blues, and you can see the, the speed with which Jean-Michel worked over this piece of cardboard. Cardboard relevant to Jean-Michel because at one point in his life he lived in a cardboard box. Jean-Michel was not born into poverty. He was born into a mostly middle-class family in Brooklyn, but he had a calling to live life on the streets. He wanted to break away, move to Manhattan, get into Soho, and live that hand-to-mouth, artistic, totally free lifestyle that was possible in that late 1970s, early 1980s New York, which is so unlike what the New York of today is. So Jean-Michel was the homeless at times. He couch surfed at times. And at times he was making a million dollars for a gallery show. His life saw the absolute highs and the absolute lows. And sadly, it, it ended in one of those periods of absolute low with addiction and ultimate overdose on heroin. This picture here at the Orlando Museum of Art, and there are 25 artworks in here uh, all originals, all never before seen from Jean-Michel Basquiat, all from that 1982 time period. These all come out of a private collection, uh, again, that has never been displayed publicly previous to this presentation at the Orlando Museum of Art, which is an extraordinary opera. This is a show that could be at MoMA, this could be at LACMA, this could be at um, Louis Vuitton Foundation in Paris. 
it could be anywhere in the world and it's here in Orlando. I'm only familiar with one other Jean-Michel Basquiat painting in a permanent collection anywhere in Florida. That's at the Rubel Museum in Miami. These are not part of the permanent collection here in Orlando. They are loans from a private collection, but what an extraordinary opportunity for anyone in the, uh, the Southeast, really. The High Museum of Art in Atlanta has a Basquiat. Dallas Museum of Art was just given one. That's one. There's one in Miami, there's one in Atlanta, there's one in Dallas, there's 25 right here in Orlando through June 30th, 2023. Heroes and monsters, get yourself here.